Welcome to my lecture online. There's nothing like examples to get a better understanding of a particular topic. And as you can tell, here we are in example number four on how to solve RL circuits. Here again, it looks a little bit different. We have a voltage supply. We have a first 2.4 ohm resistor and a switch which is initially closed and then opens at time equals zero. So before the switch opens up, the current will continue. It will go between these two branches. And then over here, since we have an inductor, once steady state is reached, the inductor offers no resistance to the current. So it's basically like a short circuit. And no current will flow through the 10 ohm resistor. All the current will flow. Whatever flows through the 2 ohm resistor will also flow through the inductor. And the rest will flow through the 8 ohm resistor. Since this is the path of less resistance, more current will flow through here than through here. The two currents combined in these two branches will equal the total current flowing to the 2.4 ohm resistor there. So we're trying to find the current through the inductor as a function of time after the switch opens. After the switch opens, the power supply no longer has an effect on this part of the circuit. So whatever current was flowing in there at that moment that the switch opens, the current will slowly uh, diminish as it goes through the resistors and there's no uh, voltage source or current source to keep pushing the current through and eventually the current through the inductor will go to zero. The inductor of course fights a change in the current so the inductor will keep the current going for a small amount of time. So let's find the resistance before the switch opens up. So that way we know what the current is through the circuit over here. And so the resistance before the switch opens up, we have the 2.4 ohm resistor here. And then here we have, let's see, a parallel branch. This resistor doesn't play a role before the switch opens up because all the current will be flowing through the inductor. So basically we have a parallel branch between the 2 and the 8 ohm resistor. So it gives us 2.4 ohms for the first resistor. Plus here we're going to use the product over the sum, 2 times 8 over 2 plus 8. So this is 2.4 plus 16 divided by 10, which is 1.6, which is a 4 ohm of total resistance in the circuit prior to opening up the switch. So prior to opening up the switch, the current through the circuit at this corner right here is going to be the voltage supply, 20 volts, divided by the resistance of 4 ohms, which is 5 amps of current flowing into the circuit. That current, of course, will split between this branch and this branch, and whatever goes to the 2 ohm resistor is the same that goes to the inductor right here. So the current flowing through the inductor before the switch opens is equal to the 5 amps of total current times the ratio of the resistance in the other branch, which is 8 ohms, divided by the sum of the two, which is 2 plus 8. 8 tenths is 4 fifths, so that's equal to 4 amps of current flowing through the inductor before the switch opens up. Now we need to determine the current after the switch opens, which means we need to find the equivalent or the Thevenin resistance in the circuit so we can find the time constant. So once this opens up, now we just have this circuit right here. And from the inductor, you can see that the, the current will split between this branch and this branch. So we have 10 ohms through this branch. We have 8 plus 2, 10 ohms through this branch. So the equivalent resistance will be the product of the sum, which is 10 times 10 divided by 10 plus 10, which is 100 divided by 20, or 5 ohms of resistance of the equivalent or the Thevenin resistance. So the inductance divided by the resistance gives us the time constant. So 1 Henry divided by 5 ohms is equal to 0 0.2 seconds for the time constant in the circuit once the switch opens up. So now we need to find the current through the inductor when time goes to infinity. And of course, since there's no voltage or current source pushing the current, eventually there will be no more current flowing through the inductor. And so that will then go to zero amps. And now we're ready to find the current through the inductor as a function of time after the switch opens. So I as a function of time is equal to the current at infinity, which we determined to be zero amps plus the difference between the current at zero, which uh, let's see, that would be equal to four amps, minus the current at infinity, which is zero amps, times e to the minus t over tau. Now since tau is 0 0.2, we we'll divide by 0 0.2, that's equal to five times t. 
And so we can say then that the current as a function of time is therefore equal to 4 amps multiplied times e to the minus 5t. And there we go. That's how we determine the current through the inductor after the switch opens up. And that's how it's done.